Do you know if the PS2 works, guys? Yes, it does. It does? Look at this. It's got heap like grass and stuff in it. Yeah. See if the discs are any good. Yeah, see, probably not. Yeah, bit off, hey. It's a shame. Watch. Oh, I just picked up a few. Oh, cassettes. Yeah, I've got cassettes here. Oh, I better not, mate. I'll go and um, I'll go and get you some money and I'll come back. Thanks. Do you like my shoes? This is the second, mate. What is that? These are pretty good. I know. Because I'm better than you. <laughs> I wonder what my dad's buying over there. How much on the books, mate? <laughs> um... I reckon two bucks each or something, mate. Two bucks each? Yeah, you can take them all. For, you want them all? Yeah, I'll probably go them all. That and that. Is that the whole 30 time? bucks? Uh, how many have we got? Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 25 bucks, mate. Yeah, 25 will do. Yep. Thanks, mate. Epic, mate. All good, buddy. Appreciate that. It's a big flea market video today, guys. I'm actually challenging Jack's Oz Treasure Hunters and Matt the Thrift Goat in a revenue challenge. So the most amount of revenue that we can pull out that ultimately goes on to sell on eBay will win this prize. And the prize is breakfast. They shout us brekkie. So it's gonna be a big video. Hopefully I can come through with the goods, but I will give a bit of a spoiler alert. Jack's Oz Treasure Hunters has pretty much come away with the best item I have ever seen somebody find in a flea. So will it be enough to win the challenge? Let's see. How you going, guys? That's good. How much on the DVDs? Two each. And if I bundle up a few, we could work on a price. I don't think it could be much cheaper than two. Oh, really? No. I was thinking a dollar for a bundle. No. It's one of the best ones I've ever seen. Oh, is that right? Yeah, Your Honor. I've actually watched that. Oh, you've seen it? I have seen yeah, it, yeah. It's, good, it? it's really good. What a twist. Yep. Yeah, I didn't I didn't see it coming to be honest. I don't think many did. Do you have many other DVDs? No, I think that's it. That was a lot? Yeah. No worries. Alright, that's a little collection. How many you got mate? Uh, I'm just counting them now. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 20 bucks. Done. Good deal, eh? Thank you, sir. Okay, good on you, mate. Appreciate that. Thank you. Any hats? Yeah, there is, but this, that's probably the best hat in there, to be honest. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff he could wear now. Oh. It's a shame it's a bit faded. Yeah. Oh, actually. Oh, uh, yeah, no, that'll be okay. That one would go, I reckon. Yeah. This would. Really? Yep. Oh, would you believe I just wouldn't even look at that, I'd just put that back. Really? Yeah. Nah, that one's good, and this one too. <laughs> yeah, I've That's seen cool. it in that pack for years, I just up in the cupboard and... Oh, really? I've got stuff like that too, yeah. don't worry. Oh, mate, we've got too much stuff. Just I really need to go through all my stuff. Hidden away. Yeah, that's right. How much on your hats? Brian, how much on your hat? A dollar each. Dollar each? Everything in that thing's a dollar each. Oh, go for it. Take the whole thing. That's what I was about to ask. <laughs> so what they Take the whole lot. They're an absolute steal. <laughs> Would I be a pain and be able to get in, have a look in here? Of course. Is that, is that <laughs> a... No, it's fine. There's some in here. Awesome. Um, Yeah, and that's just a little disco. It's actually just in there, the bill. Is it the bill, is it? Yeah, you want me to open it? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Oh, yeah. How much do you want on that? Oh, 10 bucks. 10 bucks on that? Yeah. 
bill and the little case which you can put everything in. It's a good and it's got case, the little actually. manual there for it too. Yes, it has, and it's got little pocket bits there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll do the. I'll do. I'll definitely take the bill. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys, there's about $25 there worth of value. Would you do 20? Yeah, 20. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you. This one. This one. Should I take that as well? Yeah. It looks cool. Yeah, I'll do that as well. It was a dollar each on the hats, wasn't it? Yep. We'll go two of them. Thanks, mate. Okay. I'll grab these two. So how much on the hats? $5. Five each? I'll take that one for five. Right. So. So it's definitely been a pretty early start to the day, guys. It's currently 6.50 in the morning. I've just been in, been in that market for an hour and 45 minutes. And I think those books, that collection of books, not that I've gone through it, I think that's going to be the best of the bunch. I'm going to take you through everything that we pick up today and see who wins this challenge as well uh, at the end of the video. But um, I'm going to shoot across now to Carrara Markets, which is where I normally go to on a Sunday morning at the Flea. Um, they open up in 10 minutes, so we're going to get the start of it. I'll see you in there. Round two. No, no, not no, that. No, no. Kevin, Kevin. Not that side. The assassin. What are you wheeling and dealing? Two speaker, two bucks. Well, two dollar speaker. Yeah. Nice start to your day. Yeah, not bad. Very good. We just did um dodges. Did you? Yeah. Any good? Are you sick, are you? No, I just. Oh, you're just yeah, sleepy. <laughs> just wake it up. Oh, that's not bad. Matt, they, smell, they sell well. Really well. Sweetie. How much on this one? Um, Jenny, how much are these? 20? Uh, no, you can only get the 10. 10 on that one. And then you've got 25 on these two. Yeah. Which one on this one? Okay. Yeah, they're 25. Would you do 50 if I took... Oh, here's a bargain hunter. Here's a bargain hunter. <laughs> so I was looking at these two, you got 25 on those. Yep. And then we're going to do 10 on that. Mm -hmm. So would you do 20, 20 and 10 for 50? Yes. Okay. Yep, no worries. I'll um, leave them with you. I'll go grab some money out. Mm -hmm. Just these work, mate. Like? You know, last time Evans have been sitting in the garage for about 12 months, we um, changed over the system. Yep, so, yep. Oh, I was going to say, it's a good deal. Yeah, I hear. Let's have a look at them, eh? I'm personally looking for a brizzy one. They are nice, though. You're a Lions fan? Yeah. I'm an AFL fan, and I'm a Lions fan, too. You said you're a Gold Coast Suns fan. Well, you got to support the local team. How do you feel you went, boys? No, I didn't get this on camera, so I'm going to do a little vid now. Let's look a little... It's like, oh, what do you got? It's a... Net, what's that? It's a Man United. Umbro. So it's oh, a vintage that's, one. that's big. It's treble. Oh, that's big. I looked it up. There's one for sale for 850. 850? But there's none 850. sold. 850. Well, I knew you'd get one fucking item. <laughs> one item, 850 later. But Hold that up. I've got to do a little bit more research on that one. Jeez. So it's the proper long sleeve Umbro, Man United. The so one item game winner right there. It's not, it's not, it's not Beckham. Okay, but still good. 
Mate, that could be, and it's it also, be. you know what? Long sleeve Long is actually. Long sleeve is always better. Sorry. All right, all the boys looking out their stuff from today. Maddie's, I can tell Maddie's already done very, very well. Have a look at these shoes. You got the Air 270s in like new condition and they're my size. Sheesh. Sheesh. That's a real concern for me because I might have to grab, grab a couple. <laughs> Starting with Jax. We'll start off with uh, the stuff I got at Dodgers. So we'll start off with this one here. It is a 2020 um, Skeletor from the Masters, Masters of, of the Universe. Universe. Masters of the Universe, 2020, but only $1.50 on that one. Uh, and then picked up these CDs, probably nothing too crazy on them, but a dollar each, like you can't really go wrong. I think they're about $10 each, so I can load them up anyway. This one as well, don't skip on this stuff, guys. 50 cents in this one, that's about 30 bucks right there. Easy flip, and people don't really realize on the ink cartridges. Uh, and then last There's some thing, cassette tapes in there. I know, cassette tapes are a dollar each, so I just picked up a couple of like the Billy Joel ones, uh, a couple of Bee Gees ones. Um, but I don't think they're too, maybe like five, ten bucks each, but I paid a dollar each for them, so that's not too bad. Okay, sell them as um, a bundle? Yeah, probably just sell them as a bundle, yeah. All right, and then we're at Carrara now. A couple of the stuff that I'm going to keep myself are these uh, Pokemon, these little Tommy ones here. Um, they're like a, a vintage sort of um, Pokemon figurine. Um, but I've got a couple of like the, the Eevee evolutions, which is uh, always stuff that I collect. Same with this Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's for me to keep. That's really sick. It's about a $30 to $40 um, figure right there, but I paid five bucks on that one. And then picked up this Nana Judy uh, jumper. Um, I know from Matt actually picked up a couple of Nana Judy stuff once. So I was like, you know, I'm going to uh, go clean. along with that as well. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, I think I paid five bucks on that one. 15 on this Wallabies Qantas That's jacket. Nice. That's nice. Um, I thought it was, yeah, it's a big size. Any so on the always, back? Always a bigger size. Uh, what's on the back? No, nah, it's just a, just a green and gold on the back. But it's got the Qantas down the side there. That's it. Uh, I haven't any comps, but normally that kind of stuff, maybe 40, 50 bucks. And yeah. then possibly, possibly, I'm not too sure. This has saved you, I reckon. Um, I think so, yeah. But the Manchester United on the Umbro tag here, uh, it is. A, it looks to be vintage, like on the tag there. See, it's got like the yeah, that um, is, that's like the vintage sort of look there. This is a genuine jersey, and it's incredibly and rare. On the treble, you got 99, treble 99. So on the back. I did a comp. 850 is there. There's only one comp on there for 850 bucks. But that's it. I don't think that's a, a reasonable. So I'll have to do a little bit more research on that one. Uh, and see how we go like yeah I'm not too sure there's a couple oh, hundred dollars minimum in that I think in so that yeah jersey. and just paid 15 bucks on that one so so you got about yeah there's like probably say 250 and then I'd give all of that maybe 200 nah well nah 150 well a lot of stuff that I'm going to keep anyway so 400 uh, yeah okay I'll do 400 400 we'll do 400 on that one 400 bucks it's a right. pretty good little haul there alright all right. Matty what have you got for us brother I got a sealed packet of Virginia cigarettes from the 40s. Oh, interesting. And, Do you know um, much about that? Yeah, it's they sell for about 100 bucks. You're kidding. 100 bucks, and I bought it for 10, so that's... Wow. I've got to buy for that already. Okay. Off the rip. Okay. It's uh, Penfold's Grange boxes. No wine that in one's there? a bit rough, but this one had a, like a serviette from, or, or a card from Penfold's and a leather thing, so I just thought... Do you know what that sort of stuff goes for? I think about 40 to 50 bucks. So for these shoes, what do you reckon? 50 or 60? 50, 60. These are pretty what clean. Pay on those? 15. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's, that's your best. That, yeah, that's my fave. But I'll probably wear that bitch. Oh, no, it's pretty clean. Look how. Yeah. So that's about $180 in shoes. Shit. Revenge is a good show. Revenge. And then you got the Nintendo Wii. What does that go for? 30 bucks. That's a good find. And then that one was. 30 bucks as well. Yeah, it's amazing. Good BBC. First edition Harry Potters. Oh, you got some Harry, some HPs? Harry Pe three Harry Potter books, first edition, four bucks What do you each. got under here as well? Okay, I've got, uh, this is an Atlanta swatch. 1996 swatch. Wow. So, yeah. I like it. I was like, that's cool. And then I just saw the price on the back, 125 for a swatch chrono. I just sold a swatch for 45 and it was no box, so in the box brand new, probably, they, they go all right. Mate, this is a... And then another swatch. You like your watches? I don't do watches they too often. They sell really well for me. What about this here? Okay, Little Britain, complete. Oh, that's yes. So 40 bucks. Yeah, that is 40. Um, oh, that's cool. That's a transformer from the, yeah. Yeah, he's sweet. That was two bucks. Oh, a Bratz doll. I haven't done any research on it, but... Bratz is always a win. Bratz is always a win. Logo board 30 game, bucks. 30. Is it? Yep. Okay, Every cool. time. 
What's this jacket you've got? Okay, the last thing is this jacket. The trench coat. Yeah. It's a big old driver's trench coat. So this is like a an Australian made triple XL Claiborne um, oilskin coat. And they use this for like driving horses and stuff. They're waterproof. Yeah, okay. And uh, the comps used about 125. Wow. Plus, they go up from there depending on but yeah, it's just a big, big rain raincoat basically for drivers. So you're going to try and get 100 for it? Uh, I'll probably go for 80. It's a big boy. It is a big boy. I'm not bad. There's one on here right now for 200 bucks for sale. So Let's have a look. Real. Oh, right there, yep. Very similar. Oh, Australian oh, Claiborne oh, long riding. Holy. And there the you belt. go. And the belt. And the belt. There you go. Anything the sold? Anything sold? I'm not too sure. I, don't know. I feel like I never look at sold stuff. Are you sure? I know, right? I mean, that's what we do for a living. <laughs> There you go, look oh. at that. That seals one right there, 99 bucks, mate, and that's in, in better condition. So uh, you have, there's one sell for 99, and this okay. is in a like, lot like better condition. Oh, is it? Absolutely. Yeah, oh, I reckon you can get about 150. Yeah, yeah, I'll take 125 for it. That's elite. All right, so 125, shoes were 180, so that puts you up to a 330. Yeah. Um, 360. 360, right? So, say maybe five, 600 bucks. Yep. That's pretty good. Yeah, for that. That's a good haul, mate. And what'd you spend today on average, do you reckon? I think about, you spend 95 bucks, hey? 95. 95 for potentially five to $600. I think about 600, if I'm being honest. That, that's 600, a, yeah. That's a, the first, first edition's about 30 each. So basically 100 into 600. Yeah. Not too bad. That's yeah. why we come to the fleet. Good morning. All right, so shoes, New Balance 574s, they go for about 50. I spoke about them in this video. They're a good shoe to be finding. Um, we've got the Metcons. So these are the Metcon 4s. I paid $5. I actually didn't put these into the video because um, I wasn't filming when I did the negotiation. But she also had these uh, fly nets that I got for 15 and they're brand new. So both of these shoes I should get about 50 to 64. Mm -hmm. um, so the Metcons are a really good shoe. This Funko Pop, um, Froggy Flips on YouTube, is what made me go ahead with this purchase because I know that Garbage Pail Kids um, goes really well. So this is about a $35, $40 pop. Um, so that was a cool grab. I paid 10 for that. And then I got these off the same lady for 20 a piece, and I think these are going to come out to be worth some, some decent money. Um, not 100% sure on the prices just yet, but anything Bandai, um, Dragon Ball Z GT, I think, I think that's going to be... I think this one here was about 70 bucks brand new. So they, they should be pretty decent. I was happy to pay 50 on those. Um, I've got a massive mix of um, DVDs that I know sell for about 15 bucks. So I paid $2 at most for all of them. Um, I've got the TV show, The Bill, here. I've got seasons four and five. Hey, I just learned about that on your video. Yeah, yeah. well, it is such a good show, but it's discs only with a manual in there as well. But it's got a Bill case, which could be a cool collector item. Yeah. I just bought it for 10 bucks, but... It's worth it. It's it's probably worth it. For sure. Because it's got the case. Yeah. If it was just loose discs, I probably wouldn't have. So what do you reckon that's? Maybe $30 okay. for two seasons of that, yep. um, which is cool. Um, but then I think the real winner, I've got all those DVDs there as well. Those DVDs should go for about 15 to 20. I'm addicted to the hats. I've got this one here, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, I passed on it. It's got that. Yeah, it was a dollar. Should have bought it. It was a dollar. Yeah, I should have bought it. So I grabbed it. Uh, the Woodstock hat, I grabbed that. And then this Nike hat, I actually paid five for that one as well, but it's pretty much brand new. And the Nike hats do pretty well. They so do. that's good. Um, now, all of these books could be the, the best of my day. I mean, these Dragon Balls, these are pretty good. But I know that this book here, The Killing Joke, that goes for about 40 bucks. Wow. And I paid, for all of this, I paid 25 off the guy. Wow. So I've got like, all of these, I don't know what any of them are worth, but I just think that they could be worth some decent money. Ex library too. Yeah, is that is that good? Can or be, not? can be because they're they're protected. They're protected. Um, but I think for twenty five bucks. Yeah, that's great. I think that was a ripper just because I know that joke book and also too this this one here, tattoo candy, that sells for some great money. It's just a shame it's not a complete set, but it's a good couple of books that'll go for some pretty decent money as well. It's got twenty bucks there. I should be able to get about fifteen a piece. Cool. On those two. So that was me, mate. And Ask then you've got, what, what's up the back? All the DVDs you got there? Oh, the collection of the Chief, uh, the collection. Oh, so whenever I'm doing DVDs, I'm looking for completes and collections. Yep. So um, we've got three seasons of The Handmaid's Tale, Occupied. That one, I bought that because it just said Series 1 and 2. Um, this one was The Last Kingdom for four seasons. Nice. And they're all caught sort of multiple collections as well. So they always go for about 20. Nice. Um, paid, paid two. Hey, Brax. Um, so, as for, 
as for total value, I don't know. I, I'm thinking maybe, say, 50 on each of these shoes. So that's one, 150, 180, say 50 50, so 280, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 380, books, I'm going to say 200, 580. It's going to go real close to the all 600. Yeah, I think, I it's, think so too. I think it's just similar. It's very similar. I think between me and you... I think we... Hey, we I both think, won anyway. Who gives I think, a shit? I, I think <laughs> yeah, we beat Jax. Yeah, I think we beat Jax. Really, at the end of the day, that's all you really that's want. That's all you really want. But to let us know in the comments below who you think actually won. Yeah, yeah. let us know in the comments um, who you think won. And uh, Jax has left. I'm pretty sure it's because he knows he's lost. <laughs> but he will be buying breakfast for us next week. But... Confirm it in the comments below. Yeah, just confirm it for us. So, some pretty wild finds, but Jax has actually already had that Manchester United jersey go on to sell. I think it's the craziest thing I've ever seen come out of the flea market. He only paid $15 for it, and he's turned it into $320. He messaged us in the group chat uh, just a couple of hours ago. It's been up for about eight hours, and it's already gone on to sell. So, he's $320 on the board, and Matt and I are on $0. So, maybe he wins the challenge. Definitely let us know in the comments below. But it was a fun day out regardless. And I'm looking forward to getting a bit of an understanding from you guys as to who might have to pay for breakfast next week out at the fleet. Appreciate you being here, guys. We'll see you soon.